Did you know you can add colored captions to your Facebook videos? In fact, you can add color bars, outline, and even color text to your captions, and you don't have to be a video editing genius either. Today, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to add color captions to your Facebook video. Stick around, this is gonna be quick. Hey, welcome to Quick, where we are video captions experts. I'm Owen Video, and today we're teaching you how to add color captions to your Facebook videos. Now, I know you've heard how important captions are for your videos, especially on Facebook, because many people can't or won't turn on the audio when they see a video. I'm one of them. Captions are actually proven to improve your video's performance, reach more people, and make your videos more accessible. As it turns out, 85% of all people who watch video on Facebook watch that video in silence. As it also turns out, it's super easy to add captions in using the Quick software. Quick gives you accurate captions fast, and they can be any color you want. That's right custom stylized captions for your Facebook video. In fact, Quick has so many features to help you get the captions you need that also match your visual branding and in record time and without blowing the budget. It's amazing. Okay, let's go to getcaptionsnow.com. When you get to the website, you'll wanna start your free trial or log in to your account. You'll be taken to the upload page and you can upload the video for Facebook that you need captioned. You can click and drag or browse for the right file. Once the video is uploaded, you'll see it on the videos page along with all the other videos you've uploaded. Click the ready to edit button next to your video for Facebook and let's get started. Here you can see your video transcription time to match when you say it in the video. You can also click these three lines above and get your full video transcript to slide out that you can copy and paste. Now over in this editing section, quick highlights some of the words that may need your attention. Some words they're not sure of or something you might just need to double check. Now quick has 91% accuracy, which is 100% better than the YouTube captions editor. So you won't have to do much to ensure your captions are accurate they're pretty great with it, but you may wanna go through it for accuracy. After you've gone through the transcript for accuracy, you can adjust the timing of your captions by dragging these blue bullets to the left and right of your captions. You can play with how each line of text appears and for how long. So if you don't want text appearing where the speaker pauses, you can adjust the caption to start when the speaker starts up again, instead of having the caption pop up too early. Make sense? Now, Quick gives you a preview of your video with the captions to the left of your transcript over here. This is super helpful to make sure everything looks good exactly the way you want it to in real time. The video player makes everything way easier. So once you get your captions accurate and timed properly, you can now edit the style and color of your captions for your Facebook video. And this is one of the best things about Quick is how you can not only change the color, but also the font, the size, and where it appears on screen. There's so much that you can do in Quick. Today, we're gonna focus on the color. To get started, click the teal button with the letter A on it, and that'll take you to the caption style edit page. You can choose a preset for your caption style here, or you can start with the preset and tweak it here and there, or you can start from zero and totally customize every single area of your caption. Look at how easy it is to edit these captions and it's kind of fun too. Up at the top, you can choose the font you want. There's all kinds of options to choose from. And to the right of that, you can adjust the size to make your text bigger or smaller and you can choose a style if you want. You can make it bold or you can italicize it. Next is where you wanna add your color. Click the box here and the color selector pops up on screen. Start by clicking to the basic color you want on the bar up top. Red, green, blue, pinky purple. Find a good base to start with. I like how red looks with this video, so let's start with that. From there, drag the circle through the color box to better define your color. You can also click in the color box on a specific color that looks good. So we can go with a super punchy classic red, or we can drag this down for something darker, like a deep scarlet. You can even bring it higher up for a pink. Play around until the color is just right. So I'm gonna drag it down just a touch to make it darker. Once you've settled on a color, click the little OK at the bottom right of the box 
and you've got a custom color. Now in the middle here, you can choose where the captions appear on screen, the top or the bottom, and you can change the alignment of the text to be left, right, or center. Below that, you can customize the background of your captions and you can add more color here. You can have a full block of color behind the captions or just an outline around the text with color or no background color at all. If you choose to go with the background, you can customize that color just like you did with the text. Click the color box, start with the base color, and then dial in the exact shade you want. Now make sure you click the OK button often to test out how the background color looks on top of your text color on the video. You don't want it to be hard on the eyes. Like, let's say we want to try a green. Click OK, and here we see that this is just too much. Maybe in December we can do something crazy like this, but it's just not working for me. So I'm going to go back into my color collector, and let's see. I think because my text is so colorful, I'll go with a neutral background. Let's just do a classic white. Excellent. Now click OK. After you're satisfied with your color captions, double check that everything is looking how you want it. And once you've decided everything is good, click on finalize video below the preview of your video. Quick is now going to finalize everything in no time at all. And it will give you a link to download the finalized video with the captions burned on the file. That's the video that you'll want to upload to Facebook. Quick is super cool because instead of just providing you with a transcript file that you have to add to a website or add into your editing software, Quick gives you the full video with captions burned right into it. This way, all you have to do is upload your video right to Facebook and it's totally done. And just like that, you've got a custom colored caption video for your Facebook video campaign. Okay, now earlier I mentioned a sweet bonus tip that you can use to color code and ensure you get an exact color match for your visual branding. The first thing you need is to know your brand's hexadecimal color code. If you don't know your brand's exact color code, just go to Google and search Find My Color Code and click on any one of those first links. Once you get your brand's color code, you can go to the color editor inside of Quick and type it in, or just copy and paste it into the box at the bottom left of the color selector in Quick. Once you do that, your caption colors will now match exactly with your own branding. Now you're ready to add color captions to your Facebook videos, which are gonna increase your engagement, make your videos stand out, and get more people sharing your awesome comment. Now, if you wanna learn more about how you can use captions to market and grow your channel, increase your watch time and get more shares on your video, then watch this video next. It is your next step in learning how to use captions as a marketing tool to absolutely grow on YouTube. I'm Owen and I'll see you in the next video.